Maybe I can cure you. I don't know, let's have a look. Can I cure you? Wrong button. Mm -hmm. Can I cure you with my curing devices? Oh, where the hell are my stuff? My doctor's bag just doesn't load. There we go. Uh, let's see, I have... I have a treatment for fatigue. I'm gonna cure you. I'm feeling generous. So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Damn, this kid's like, miserable. Why are you so sad? Do you remember when Barrett Lewis was close to Oh, we shouldn't ask this. This is mean. ...to your mother? Not really. I was too young. But I remember it was a happier time. Mr. Lewis was funny. He often had dinner with us. Well, that's nice. How was he towards you? He was nice, I guess. He never forgot my birthday. He always offered me books. I like books. Why are you sad, then? Because it hurts to remember a time when my father used to laugh and smile. It hurts to realise he's as sad as me now. Oh my god, I need to give this kid a hug. Good lord. Would it ease tensions with your father if he got an honest job? Because he tried, you know. I can't say. I'd be glad if he dropped his thuggish activities. But I'm not sure it would be enough. Why is that? Sometimes I suspect it's me, Dr. Reed. Or it's this life. It's like I can't find my place. Oh no, this kid is- oh, he's so sad. How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day. But I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes idiot things. That's all I have to say. Oh, no. Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? Well, I mean... You have a place to go home, your father did his best, your situation didn't improve. Let's go for a neutral one. He doesn't like his dad, but maybe we should try and reinforce that his dad did try. I'm sure your father did his best when he found this house. Times are tough for everyone, young man. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Oh, man. Oh, Harry. I'm gonna cure Harry. Do he you need, need any medical help, young he man? He needs help. Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. Please, for the love of God, take this. You'll feel better with this. But you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Well, Even we... my dreams are soaked with glue. He's a bit of a, he's a, bit of a sad sack. Um... Let's see. Let's look on the old map. Well, I think if we go around towards the edge of the church and this sort of direction, we can probably find a gentleman I'm looking for. We could also talk to the prostitute lady. She's actually really nice. Hello. She's actually one of the nice people around here. Would you like me to revive you? Ah, uh, not with that. I don't need that kind of reviving, young lady. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick. Though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's funny. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. 
I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. I don't judge you. Try and find another job. That was your decision too, buddy. Well, I don't judge. I'm not here to judge. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Sounds like we should really find out more about you. But... What I should really find out. Goodbye, miss. We'll come back to you later, miss. Now... Whoop! There are some goodies up here. I need to go to the safe house. I really, really need to go to the safe house, don't I? Is it really? There should be a box up here. Got scammed. I don't think we can go this way yet. It's locked. It's locked. There is a safe house uh, here, I think. Uh, that's uh, the safe house. Hideout's there, so if I sort of turn around and go that way, I'll find it. But I'll find it on the way back anyway. Now, there's a lovely... Ooh. A flower bouquet with a message of a medical, free medical checkup. Now that's how we discover that the free medical checkups are getting passed around. This is a lovely Reed, silent lady. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. She doesn't really talk a lot. She's very I silent. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. I know you work for work Nurse Crane, so basically you can just go whoop. Melia, I know you work for Dorothy Crane. Please tell me about her secret dispensary. Doctor, she's mute. This is not going to go very far. A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu have been clever. Well, we ain't going to get much further with this. I know you understand what I'm saying. Your silence has nothing to do with Very well. Goodbye, then. We should come back to you later. Perhaps when we find out more about you. But for now, bin lids. Bin lids are very important. Now, this is where things can get a little tricky. These enemies are quite high level. I mean, these guys are always shit. Ah, yes. This guy has a cross. We do not want to go anywhere near him. That's always bad. Take you away that pig sticker of me, sir. Chomp, chomp, chomp. My name's Dr. Mighty. I'm gonna take a chomp out of your neck. And then I'm gonna kill your friend. I said I'm gonna kill your fucking friend. There we go. Ow. Reverend Kane's resistant to bullets? That's pretty hardcore. Holy crap, you're resistant to everything. Don't you wave that friggin' cross at me, sir. Seriously, sir. You are not allowed to... Ow, stop setting me on fire, you friggin' jerk. Okay, I need to heal. Oh, dear. He's getting stamina back with that. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we get our stamina back. Seriously, this guy is ridiculous. Reverend, why are you so hardcore? We have to be really careful here because the last thing we want is to, is to actually get killed here. So what we're going to do quickly is finally bite the Reverend. Finish him off. The Reverend is hardcore, this but... This man yeah. stunned me with his face. His crucifix. This is not good news. It's not good news, no. But uh, he's also dead, which is good news. Well, not for him, obviously. For me. But, you know, I don't really care about him. Now... We want to head... Where do we want to head, in fact? Down the street, probably. This way, yeah. There's a few thugs, but nothing we can't really deal with. Hello? Hello, my name is Dr. Bitey. Do you T-pose? You got a leech? Where? Your friend, uh... Your friend shot me. What if I wasn't a vampire? I'd be dead. It's awful. 
Oh, you're not dead. Damn, it's always so Ow! Christ! He's dead! He is. I mean, it's not really that relevant that he's dead or alive or, you know, whatever, really. Sweet, thanks. Now, because these guys are high level, you think you get more XP. You, uh, you don't, by the way. Spoilers. S yeah, you gotta just, uh, try not to die. Bin lids. This takes us back... The correct... This takes us back towards Whitechapel itself. It's very well lit around here. See, where we are, this is underneath the bridge where we killed the, the, the vamp lion with the big ass. Which is lovely. I mean, he had a big boss, it was funny. We all, we all had a merry time, didn't we? Ha ha ha! How jovial. But we don't care about that right now. We want to actually sneak up. Sneak up this way. What the hell? It was actually raining outside as well. Ah, I wonder what the noise was. Hey, guys. Ow. Do you mind? Do you mind? No, seriously, do you mind? Right, this one should die. Come on, someone died fighting. Yes, finally. And there we go. Oh, he's not dead. And oh, careful. Careful, we're gonna die, boys. Uh, oh, there we go. Cool, where are we now? Uh, that leads us out of the area. I think we need to go back to where the lion is. Not 100% on that. I mean, this place is full of terrors. I mean, I wouldn't rubbish it a bit, but you know. As you can see, because these enemies are so high level, I am being a little bit more careful. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much. He's rummaging in that bin, was doing a terrible job at it. See, I still found a uh, some common handle parts and all sorts. Oh, nothing up here? That's disappointing. I could be mistaken about the thing I was trying to find, but uh, I don't think I was. Uh, we don't want to proceed too much further, and we're back to the sort of main square where we were, we beat the priest up. So if I perform scootage... Scoot, scoot, scoot. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Hello. God, look at the size of his bum. He is big, isn't he? You're a big boy with a big ass. I mean, you can resist the bullets all you want, mate. Still hurt. Lovely. Cheers, my dear. The benefit of killing lots of enemies, by the way, again, is not really the XP, but we do get lots and lots of blood samples. Oops. Influenza, stay at home. It sucks around here. Hello, hello. There's a lot of skulls around here. Too many, some might say. Now this is the big boy. He's he's the problem child, so we're gonna have to beat him. Oh I've got I'm so sorry, I got the wrong thing on. Oops. Nah, that's bad. That's bad. Find ourselves in a bit of a dodgy situation, isn't it? We're just gonna eat this one. You're not my friend, and frankly, I think you're a bit of a jerk, so I'm just gonna kill you. You're also not my friend. How did you get away without being stunned, then? Ooh. Steady. Right. Normally, I wouldn't give him the old chomping so early, but uh, I think it's important to just take him out quickly. Fighting. Th oh, shit. Fighting three of these guys can be a little bit troublesome. You'll teleport next to us. There we go. Ugh. And once more, and we move. You, sir, had a very suspiciously large jump there. I'm gonna have to eat you for that. Well, didn't find the guy I was expecting to find. A wool scarf? 
A Romanian pattern? I happen to know a Romanian lady who might, uh, might need that scarf. Well, like I said, didn't find the guy I was expecting to find. Which is a bit strange. I thought I was going to find Cadogan Bates, of all people. But, I didn't. However, the scarf is a nice find, and we should definitely go and give it to the lady who needs it. However, I'm going to come around the back way. And go uh, that side to find the hideout. Oh, hello, did I not leave you? God, how rude of me. So we should be able to find us the hideout if we go this way. Can't quite remember where it is though, which is a bit of a flaw, I know. My plan. It might have been there, to be honest. But I think that way was locked. Let's keep an eye out for anything that we can go up on. No, maybe not. This is where we started, wasn't it? Mm. Aha! Nope. A large box of pills is very nice, though. I could have sworn there was a house I could go into around here. Maybe it was... Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Or in between this alleyway? Hello? Another ring? Oh, he wasn't using it, was he? Well, here's that silly lady. And this is the door I want to go into. Ah, wait, I'm being stupid. Don't dead open inside. That's definitely the right place. So finally we're at the hideout. So I'm gonna f sort of finish off the set, probably, by uh, crafting some weapons, killing some noobs in here. Definitely looks a bit seedy in here. That man, is, I'm no expert, but that man is definitely dead. I mean, I am an expert, because I'm a doctor, and he's definitely dead. So it's like a double I am an expert, but not an expert, because I'm not a doctor, but Dr. Reed is, therefore, between us, we've got one doctorate in total. It's fine. God, these people are all giving us, like, lots of fancy schmancy rings. Aha! Aha! Uh -huh. And this is the, uh, way out, which is also quite nice. Lovely, lovely. Now, let's have a quick nosy of what we got here, shall we? Treatments! We should probably make at least a couple of fatigues. We could make to cure some anemia and sepsis. We can also create, uh, we can treat the common cold. Or we could if we had the bits, which we don't. Down to potassium. Which is kind of weird. I have enough for, I can have enough for at least one anemia, but I don't need one of those yet. I'll make those on demand. Fatigue, friggin' everybody gets fatigued. So we'll make a couple of those. And I'll get a, a little bit of extra health going on. A blood, a blood sample, that's actually a really good thing to do. Let's get, actually, let's get a couple of those. Now, in my stabbing devices, we have, let's see, the bludgeon is actually pretty decent. It actually gets really good later on, which you can add stun points to a main weapon. So it's kind of cool. I think that, I think the, the barbed cudgel is the two-handed version, so that could be something you want to do. But for now, I'm doing the one-handed version, of which case, I can upgrade to the good one. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! And... For all our fun, we are going to we can do blood points when it hits, which is quite useful, or damage dealt by 10%. Now, we are probably going to do, uh, I'd say, the blood points, because it's actually really handy to get blood off a weapon like that. Now, I am also going to upgrade my gun, because it's really easy, and it gives us a lot of extra damage to shoot people with, which is nice. Uh, more damage or decreased load time. We don't really care about the load time at all, so we're going to do more damage. And stun points. Yeah, we'll do stun points as well. Cool. So that's nice. We've done some good upgrading there. The other stun thing I've got. Uh, tiny handle tight. Fantastic. And stamina consumption down is good. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually pretty low on aluminium powder. I uh, probably don't need any of that. It's fine. It's fantastic. Now, we want to get rid of a bag of junk. Because we do. We don't need bags of junk. Bottle of alcohol. We don't need that. Small bottle. We can just get vials out of that. Perfect. Pills. We do like to... Assemble pills completely. Like this is always useful. Cigarette case. Get some, some powder. We can sell that for stuff if we really want to. But we don't. We're going to actually break them all down. Again, money. Money is nice, but we can get money through quests and other methods. So for now, that this is probably the most efficient way. And as you can see, we've got the ability to make uh, 
a treatment for the cold, which we will do. We'll have at least one of us, one for the common cold. Very, very handy. And to finish off, I think we should have a bit of a snooze in the bed. So, we have a few things we can do. We can get another uh, super ability, but they do cost 2,000 each. Which, uh, oh no, it's 1,000 for the first point, which is quite expensive, but possibly really useful. Uh, defensive can be quite good as well. Blood Barrier allows us to take uh, extra damage, which is kind of handy. And we can stun a target with coagulation. Also quite good. Science allows us to carry more bullets and or more syringes. Again, quite useful. We want to upgrade to one of the uh, one of these. So what I'm probably going to do is do a defensive cooldown. I'm going to do the blood barrier because it looks cool. And it's very useful. That gives us level 1 of the blood barrier. And we can now do an ultimate. Uh, we want... Uh, I think we want, to be honest, the abyss is a cool one to take. So let's... Can we not get that yet? Why can we not get that yet? Oh, do I... I need to confirm. Right. I think this is a bit willy. I need to go to bed. Confirm it. And then go to bed again, probably. Uh, major district event. So, what can happen in the district is people can get cured, or people can get sick again. Now, nothing crazy has happened here. He's got a migraine. He's got the fatigue. Uh, she's got fatigue. We can probably cure those. Not really much of a problem. Over here, we've got someone with anemia. We've got... Um, Mortimer with fatigue, and we got Oswald Thatcher with a headache. Bummer. Sucks to be you, dude. And over here, nothing else is particularly going on. Cool. However, I actually need to go to sleep again because I'm now high level, so let's level up again. It won't really affect anything, so nothing to worry about. So now, level 10 required. Oh, wait, I'm still level 9? Ah! I just realised I'm actually still level 9. I think I'm just stupid. Uh, that was probably just all on me. Hold on. What, which one can we do then? Fast regeneration for... I'm not going to have enough. Oh, that makes me sad. No. No. Okay, I'm probably going to save up more points then. Unless Blood Barrack level 2. That's rubbish. Tactical. I could do a tactical one, but... That's really annoying. I actually kind of wanted to not uh, do that. I obviously didn't level up enough and I didn't notice. That's me being stupid. Okay, never mind. Uh, next time, we'll do some more quests so we get more XP. Then we'll level up in one go. Because I really want to get the... Uh, the ultimate ability. It's super fun. And we get to kick ass with it. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this set. Next time, I'm going to give a scarf to a lady. We're going to actually find Nurse Crane, probably, and deal with the issue of blackmail. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.